We are art club students of Halbert Elementary School in Colorado Springs, Colorado. In this video, we will explain how to create aspen trees in our art class. We choose aspen trees because we live in Colorado and aspen trees are well known as our symbol in our state. We have aspen trees almost everywhere. Here are some pictures of aspens near where we live. For this project, we will need white school glue, aluminum foil, sharpened pencils, styrofoam, bendable wire, paints and brushes, plaster wrap, small bowls of water, and permanent markers in black, red, orange, yellow, and greens, and scissors. Hi, I'm Sam. First, cut the plaster wrap into two strips. Give each student about 15. Then give each student a piece of styrofoam approximately 3 by 3 inches. Have the student write their name on the bottom of the styrofoam. Next, stick your sharpened pencil into the center of the styrofoam. To keep the pencil secure, dip, to, dip the plaster wrap into, the, into water and layer it onto the styrofoam base and around the pencil. Carefully pull up parts of the plaster to make it look like the ground and roots. Let the plaster dry according to the package instruction. Next, we wrap the pencil in the foil. Rip the foil into small pieces about the size of a dollar coin. Use a paintbrush to paint the glue on one side of the foil and wrap the foil all around the pencil. Cover the eraser first so that the rest of the foil will hold it down. Continue to wrap the foil all the way down the pencil. Alternate the shiny and dull sides of the foil and remember to overlap the pieces to create bark. Next, create the branches. Cut six or seven lengths of wire for each student. Make the wire between five and seven inches long. The branches at the bottom of the tree are longer than branches at the top. Wrap the middle of the wire tightly around the tree a couple of times until it stays still and doesn't slide down the trunk. Each wire makes two branches. Shape the wires like trees, branches. Aspen branches point mostly upward. As you make your branches, turn the tree so that you have branches sticking out from all directions. This is a 3D sculpture. The tree should look full from all sides. If you need to repair the bark, re-glue it. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Aspen trees have black eyes and markings around the trunk. Use a black permanent marker to create the eyes and markings. Draw the dot on the trunk and then draw curved lines above and below the dot to make eyes. Then make curved lines around the tree trunk. Remember, this is a 3D artwork. Turn the tree trunk as you draw so that every side has eyes and markings. Leave space between markings and stagger the eyes around the trunk. Now the leaves. Give each student a two inch strip of aluminum foil, colored permanent markers, school glue, and a small paintbrush for the glue. If you want a fall aspen, use yellow, orange, and red markers. If you want a spring aspen, use different shades of green markers. Color, the, color big sections of the foil with the markers. Tear the foil into nickel sized pieces. Try to make the pieces oval shaped. Paint glue on the uncolored side of the foil leaves. Fold the leaves in half over the wire so the color is on the outside and the glue is pressed together over the wire. Repeat until the tree is full of leaves. Turn the leaves so they are pointing in all directions. 
Hi, I'm Jamie. Lastly, use temporary acrylic paints to paint the plaster base of the tree. Use fall colors for a fall tree and spring colors for a spring tree. Don't forget to paint the sides of the base. After the paint dries, you can display your trees all together like a grove of aspens or alone. So now we've told you how to make a Colorado aspen tree. We hope you have fun.